Hello, this is Chef Stephanie Rose with the Simple Cooking with Heart Kitchen, coming to you to give you a talk and show you a recipe all about choosing smart proteins. Because protein, we basically, you know, we eat too much of it, okay? It's better for a happy heart for you to eat less. And that's what we want because when you eat too much protein like we do, it's bad cholesterol and that really creates a risk for cardiovascular disease and stroke. So we want you to have a happy heart. And there's lots of options out there for, for proteins and it's, and it's easy to learn. You just need to look for low fat, you know, and, and go for legumes, you know, do try to put in more plant-based foods in your diet. And I'm here to show you that it's not that hard to do, okay? And when you are buying meats, because I know we're all gonna go out there and we are gonna buy some meat, try to, you know, use less. Um, I don't think everybody's really aware of the quantity, the size, the portion size, three to four ounces, size of a deck of cards. So when you are serving yourself, you know, a chunk of meat, hopefully top, sirloin, something lower fat. Always go for the lower fat. So, you know, and usually they're lesser, less expensive too. And, you know, and another trick is to incorporate cooking the meats in with vegetables. So you've got heavy on the vegetables, little bit of meat. And that's, that's is what we're going to be doing in, in this recipe, which I love. And, you know, like I said, there's lots of proteins out there and you know and actually the legumes they give you a huge punch i want to say it's like 16 grams of protein per cup and when i say legumes i know it's a fancy word but i don't know what they, what are they okay well uh chickpeas um lentils oh my god we have a lentil recipe that a lentil sloppy joe that is hand down one of the most delicious recipes even my husband ate it which was you know unbelievable even eggs, you know, eggs are great. Eggs are in your refrigerator, right? Uh, we all have them. They're inexpensive. You can still eat them. Um, you can have one egg a day, you know, that's, that's okay. Or you can have up to two egg whites. So I love those just because it's easy. They're there. Everybody has that and it's affordable. Um, so this dish that I'm making today is a really cool dish that does combine the protein with some vegetables, wonderful vegetables, red peppers, or you could use green peppers, or you could use yellow peppers. And I'm using a whole splash of color because we like to eat a rainbow here, right? With our protein. So I've got every color on the planet and we're gonna saute this in some olive oil. So I may as well get, get started. Get this party started in my pan. Really, we're just gonna kind of throw everything in here. So I'm gonna saute these, and then we're gonna simmer all of this wonderful peppers and spices and onions and harissa and garlic, of course, and some tomatoes. And then I'm gonna add the eggs, sort of, sort of, we're poaching them. So remember, when you do go for the eggs, don't fry your egg. You know, poach, poach it, scramble it is always a much healthier way to do it. And poaching is not as hard as you think. Um, practice, practice makes perfect. So in my oil, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a half a cup of diced onions. So let's get these going. Oh, that's a nice sizzle, I like that. Saute it. Saute, we're not frying, we're sauteing. Got my onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Like I said, one teaspoon, two, two teaspoons, whatever. Garlic is so good for you. Got that garlic going. I think I might need a bigger spatula. Let's go, I love the rubber spatulas. Garlic, you wanna saute that until you can actually give it a, get a whiff of the fragrance of the garlic and I think I can smell it. It's gonna make your kitchen smell delicious. Now I'm gonna throw in, may not need all of these peppers because this pan is actually smaller than what we would normally be using. 
the recipe calls for six eggs. Now, I'm not, I don't, you know, a small, small family here. There's just a few of us, so I don't really need six eggs. I'm going to only have one, and it's going to be surrounded by all these wonderful ingredients. Now, you don't want to play around with your pan too much, which I do. I'm bad. Stop. <laughs> because then I'm, you know, distributing the heat, and it's not going to be hot enough. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. Cumin, key ingredient. Nice ground cumin, about a teaspoon. And I'm putting it in now because I really, you know, it's dried, okay? It's been in the dark. It needs, you know, the flavor needs to wake up. Hello, wake up, wakey, wakey. And then we have some tomato paste that's coming. And the other ingredient, I don't know if you heard me say, is harissa. I mean, it's totally hip now you know it's if it, it's out there on the shelves it's readily available you can buy it in the powder form i prefer to uh, get mine mailed in from tunisia because that is actually where it originates and the stuff in tunisia holy cow i don't think it's made for the american palate because it is hot very hot, hot hot okay so there go there went my tomato paste and here is the harissa. I just, um, this one actually came out of a can, but it's also available in a tube. Let me show you this cool tube. This one's not as pungent, so it's probably better for, for the family, but it's hard to describe what it is. But you know, it's, it's a condiment of that, that country, you know? It's their ketchup. So this is looking good. Now I get to put a little bit of salt. Not too much. Pretty much all of our recipes will allow you to add a quarter teaspoon. Salt's a very interesting thing because you know if you practice not adding salt, you will you will train your palate to not need it. Okay, I can see this is this is working. It's cooking, starting to stick to the bottom. So now I've got a whole can, 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Now, if you want to, you know, dice tomatoes yourself, that's fine too. Again, since this is a smaller pan, I may not add all of that. So almost, maybe a few more tomatoes. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that may not want tomatoes. It's always been tricky. What do you use? You know, if, if you don't want tomatoes, well, I would say you could use um, some pureed butternut squash. Might be really, really delicious and interesting. Um, or just use pureed red peppers. I mean, I know there's peppers in here, but you could, instead of adding the peppers, you could add some zucchini. See, that's, that's the amazing thing about this dish. It really, it is so versatile. It, it's not just breakfast. Just because it has eggs in it doesn't mean it's breakfast. It could be lunch and it could be dinner too. And actually in some of the countries uh, that where they make this, and which is you know Israel, and uh, they do actually put in some meat. So I was thinking about this. What, what meat? Obviously something lean, maybe a little bit of a ground turkey you could put in. Don't mix it up, but just put it into little little areas. Or even, I was thinking, fish might even work. You know, and beans, okay? We're talking about some protein. How are we going to get more good, healthy proteins? Some beans would be fabulous. So you could sprinkle any kind of beans. If you wanted to make it kind of more uh, Mexican, we could go for some black beans, more Italian. This, this is actually kind of a more Tunisian style, I think. But the Italians might add some white beans, which would be delicious. Lentils, I mean, the sky is the limit. And if you really wanted to go to town adding other vegetables too, why not? I mean, some, some zucchini would be fabulous. I mean, I love zucchini. Use zucchini, even, even summer squash, yellow squash. Not my most favorite, but you know, I'm, I'm learning. The more you eggplant, oh my gosh, eggplant would be really awesome. So the, the more you cook and the more you explore, 
the more you're going to find out that actually you might, you might like it. And, you know, like I said, the cool thing is, is you can make it Mexican, you can make it North African, you can make it Italian, or make it Israeli style. But, so I don't want my things to cook too much. I kind of still like a little bit of a bite in my peppers. It's smelling really good. I think I've got all my ingredients going. And I'm just gonna kind of poke a little hole here. Got one egg already cracked. Put that baby in there. I'm gonna be really brave and crack it in, straight in, in the pan. Echo. Now the goal is to not break it, right? All right, another little hole. Poke, poke, poke. I mean, and this is fast. Okay, come on, you're being stubborn. Stop. Get you in here. Ooh, nice, nice bubbling and bubbling away. It smells delicious. Love it. One more hole. I think I'm gonna get four in here pretty well. I think that's plenty. Uh-oh, okay, you are not being nice. You know, if you wanted to scramble them up too in there, that's fine. You know, there's no, no right or wrong way to do it. You could put a lid on it. I have seen them with a lid. I have seen them without the lid. And sometimes some people are sprinkling a little bit of um, feta cheese on it. Or you could add a little bit of Parmesan before you serve it. Again, going the Italian route. I'm just gonna add a little bit of feta. Now, be careful, you know, with the cheeses. I think you only can have about a quarter cup. Cheese is very salty. So we definitely wanna keep down our salt. Mm. I adore feta. Mm. Delicious, look how beautiful that is. And colorful. You can't beat that. So it's probably gonna take maybe 10 minutes or so for that to finish cooking. Maybe I'll put a lid on it. And we hope it doesn't stick to the bottom. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. I am so excited. The eggs are absolutely cooked to perfection. The sauce has reduced a little, a little bit so it's not too runny. So now I think we are ready to dive into the shakshuka or eggs in purgatory. However you wanna call it, I just love saying it. I'm gonna turn it off now, hello. Put it in my dish. This is lovely, served with a little bit of naan. Alrighty. Ooh, I wanna get some of those wonderful vegetables. Only one egg, that's enough of a serving for one person. We have a little bit of, oh, I'm gonna steal some of that. I need a little bit of that feta cheese over here. Yum, yum, yum. You can sprinkle a little bit of parsley that I chopped up. You can never have too much parsley. We love parsley full of nutrients, tastes delicious. You can even make a whole salad out of it. And then of course you wanna serve it with perhaps a little side of yogurt. Make sure it's low fat though. Gotta watch our dairy. A little bit of low fat Greek yogurt and you're gonna absolutely love it. Sprinkle a bit more, maybe a little bit of black, black pepper. My wonderful little pepper grinder. Very hard to, to do. Don't you love it? Comes out. Et voila. This is a black pepper. Hello, where are you? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I think this is gonna make my day. It's gonna make my breakfast. It's gonna make my lunch. It's gonna make my dinner. So thank you so much for, for joining me. Bon appetit. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.